name is Jessie and I make videos on fashion, a lifestyle, and luxury. So if those are the types of videos that you enjoy, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now guys, in this video, I'm going to share my absolute wardrobe essentials with you guys. Meaning that if I did have to start over and I did have to repurchase items, these were the items that I would buy. And the reason for that are pretty simple. These pieces, I believe, are very versatile, they're durable, and most importantly, they represent my style. Now, the first items that I want to talk about are the tank tops. Now, the reason why I believe the tank top is a wardrobe essential is because they are super versatile. You can wear them all year round. I not only gravitate to wear them in the warmer months, like spring and summer, to wear just on its own, but I also wear them during autumn and winter to layer up my outfit. They're easy to throw on just every item, like a short or a skirt, especially when you buy them in neutral colors like gray, white, or black. Now, I don't believe that you have to buy a specific type of tank top or even go towards a brand for a tank top. Just pick one that works for you and makes you feel good. Now, I myself have been loving this one from Massimo Duty. They're 96% cotton, and I've been loving this type of shape and form from these tank tops. I bought them this year, and they have been proven to be very durable. So, yes, tank tops are pretty much an essential to my wardrobe. And just a plain white and black t-shirt are my go-to in my wardrobe. They're pretty easy to combine and wear casually, but I can also wear them in my workwear. They make a strong base, and as I said, I like to have a strong base outfit and then layer it up to make it customized to my style. For me, I gravitate more towards loose-fitted t-shirts than really snug one. That is because I feel like a loose-fitted is more breathable and it's more wearable. Now, these ones that I'm wearing are actually from Massimo Duty, and I love the fact that they're 100% organic cotton. It just feels really soft and I like the fit for me. However, you have many brands that sell organic cotton t-shirt at an affordable price, so it's just a matter of trying and seeing which one fits you best. Now, aside from these loose fitted t-shirts, I also have two bodies in the same color, black and white. I love the fact that by wearing a body, I immediately change the aesthetic of a certain outfit. It can immediately look more chic and more put together than when I'm wearing a loose fitted t-shirt. So that's why I believe that having these bodies in your closet just makes a whole difference. Now these bodies that I'm wearing are also 100% organic cotton. I love just to buy clothes that are a little bit more durable and that I can wear a lot longer. I don't have the specific brand for these bodies anymore, but I'll try to link some options down below if you guys are interested. Now, I'm a huge fan of button-up shirts. I love them in the color white or black and especially striped blue. I just think whenever I wear a button-up shirt, it instantly makes me feel more classic, more put together. There's just something about them that just elevates my whole appearance, my style. So I like to wear those button-up shirts. I feel like you can dress them very much up as they are a workwear garment, but you can also wear them very casually, open up or above a jeans or a short in the summer, which makes it super versatile. Now for me personally, I would say go for cotton ones because I feel like the cotton is one that is more versatile. I can not only wear it during summer, but I can also wear it in the winter. For as the linen is more towards the warmer months. However, having a linen one or a silk one isn't a bad idea to switch up the structure of the clothes in your wardrobe. Now my go-to brands for the button-up shirts range from higher end to more affordable one. So I like the button-up shirts from Louvain, from Totem, but I also like the one from Aritzia, Massimo Duty, and Zara. I believe they all have like different type of shirts and I just feel comfortable in all of them. Now because I live in a place where we do know different type of seasons and the weather is oftentimes so unpredictable, I believe that having knitwears and sweaters in my closet are a true wardrobe essential. 
Now the Knitwear sweater I said I tend to gravitate towards are like this one. This one is from 78% cotton and the rest is polyester. I naturally gravitate towards this one because I'm allergic to wool, so you won't find any wool in my closet. However, this one from cotton is pretty soft and good on my skin, so I love that one. And this one especially is from Zara. Now this one is trying, but of course you can get in so many different colors. I like to stick to neutrals because I use sweaters not only to wear on their own, but I also pair them up to wear them as a shawl or just on my shoulder to layer them with any outfit during those months that the weather is very unpredictable. Now cardigans I feel like personally is really a trial and error kind of thing because I feel like whenever you buy the wrong cardigan it can make you look very slouchy and just not put together. However I love this one and this one is from the brand Cape which is priced much higher than any item that I'll be showing in this video. However for me it was a truly investment piece. I really like the way how it fits me even though it's loose it is a little bit snatched at the waist which I absolutely love. I also like the fact that the sleeves are very loose it just gives me that extra comfy feeling that I want in the autumn and the winter. And also making it cashmere makes that I can wear it because as I said I'm allergic to wool. So having a really cozy warm cardigan is a must have in my closet. And having find one, yes, it is definitely worth it. Now, one of you guys already noted in one of the previous videos that I made that I own a lot of jeans. And that is so true because one of the key essentials of my wardrobe is the denim jeans. And the reason for that is whenever I'm in a rush or I feel like I have no inspiration for an outfit, I tend to grab a jeans and pair it up with a simple t-shirt or tank top and combine that with a blazer or something else to make my outfit. I just love the fact that a simple jeans and a simple t-shirt can make as well as strong base for any outfit. So the best color to have, I believe, are at least one dark colored jeans, like black or dark blue, and then combine that with a lighter colored jeans, like light blue, white, or gray for the warmer months. Me personally, I love, and I shouldn't be saying this out loud, but I really love the high-rise skinny jeans. I feel like they're so flattering for my figure. I love the fact that they oftentimes balance my outfit out because I do like to wear those more loose fitted tops with a more slightly hug jeans. So I just like that style a lot. So I always gravitate towards that. But I also like the fact that in my belief, these are the only jeans that you can still wear with higher boots. They give that elongated effect and immediately make your whole look a little bit more chic and classy. I also noticed that during the warmer months, I tend to wear more straight leg jeans. And the reason for that is because I do like a more loose fit during the warmer months. I like clothes that are a little bit more breathable and also give that more comfy, relaxed effect. The brand that I really love for jeans is Levi's. It is a brand that is so focused on denim, so I like to buy all of my jeans from Levi's. But whenever I'm trying a trend and I'm not sure if it fits my style, I will go for brands that are a little bit more affordable like Zara to try it out before I really buy something that I want to incorporate in my capsule. Now we're moving a little bit more into the former clothing and that is where I believe that the pants are really going to stand out and shine. So I believe the two types of pants that are a bare minimum is actually having one darker color pen like navy or black and combining that with a lighter color pen like khaki, camel or white as I'm wearing right now. Because those are the type of pants that can really lighten up your wardrobe when we're moving into the more warmer months. So the type of fit that I like for my pants are high-waisted and then straight leg or a little bit more flared leg as I love to combine my pants with sneakers or just heels. But I believe that is a preference to everyone. So as with denim, I believe that everyone should have a little bit of trial and error with choosing the type of pants that is more flattering to your figure and is more fitted to your lifestyle. 
either this is you or it isn't you but for me these are my favorite wardrobe essentials ever i feel like this is something that is very playful and i'm talking about dresses and skirts now if you love dresses and skirts like me then as chanel said having a black dress that totally fits you and fits your lifestyle is something that should be in your closet now for me it is this satin dress and even though I know that it looks more on the formal side, I absolutely love it. I can tone it down by combining it with a knitwear and just sandals, but I can also wear it up and make it very formal and pair it with heels. So it is something that I'm really into, I like this style a lot. But let's be honest, the play field of dresses is so vast, you get to play with color, patterns and fabric. So just again, pick what you like and what you're comfortable in and what suits you the best. My go-to brands for my dresses are mostly Reformation, Zara and Massimo Dutti, but also sometimes unknown brands like Sauli, if I'm pronouncing it right, or other brands that I just happen to bump into and happen to like a dress. On to the next favorite item of mine and that is the skirts. So I really love skirts. You can get them in so variety of lengths. So you have the mini, you have the midi and you have the maxi and sometimes you have something in between. For me like the variable minimum that you should have in your closet is a midi skirt. Now midi skirts are especially really easy to dress up and down. You can wear them like in your work wear by combining them with some heels and a blazer and you're ready to go. But they're also pretty easily to wear casually by just pairing them up with some slippers or even trainers and you can pretty much wear them down and go everywhere you want. Now I don't have a certain type of color that you should absolutely get but I do believe keeping it neutral in the beginning will help you to really have a beautiful capsule wardrobe as those neutral tones are really easy to mix match with each other. So the brands that are my go-to for beautiful skirts, even pleated skirts like this one, is Reese. This one is actually from Reese and it's really beautiful. I bought it a couple years ago, but I also lean towards Zara, Massimo Dutti, and Ted Baker. Now we're going to the outerwear and we're going to start off with the blazers. Now I believe blazers are essential to my wardrobe because they're so versatile. You can wear them up, you can wear them down. So first off, I just want to say that starting with a minimum of two blazers is just really important to have in your wardrobe. Uh, having a darker color like black or navy and then combining it with something that is a light, a like white or a neutral color is just so easy to combine when you want to lighten your outfit or something like that in the warmer months. So a blazer just elevates, I feel like, every look. I feel like the instant that you wear a blazer, it just gives you that more chic, casual, business casual to even formal corporate look. I really love that. I really like that style. So it is something that I naturally gravitate towards. So for me, I do have blazers that are different in fitting. For example, this black one, it is a very beautiful. It has a really structured look to it, but then again, it's very loose fitted. And I like that when I'm going for a very casual, relaxed look. Now when we look at this white blazer, as you can see, it's just a little bit more flowy. It still has a little bit of detail. It's a little bit more snug than the black one but still it's very loose and very draped. And I tend to reach for this one when it's a little bit warmer. As when I'm wearing this neutral one, it is a very detailed, it has an accentuated waist, which I absolutely love when I'm going for the more corporate or business chic look. And when it comes to fitting, as you can see, none of my blazers have that padded shoulder because I feel like I already have front shoulder, so I really don't want to emphasize that. And they all have a little bit of detail except the black one on the waist and all of them are not too long but also not too short as I'm not keen on really crop blazers. So brands that I would recommend to go to for blazers are Massimo Dutti, um, Zara, Reese, The Frankie Shop. I really believe that investing in a good durable blazer is something that everyone should do. Now at this moment, I only have one leather jacket in my closet and it's this one from Claudie Prudeau. I've been looking for a really long time for the perfect leather jacket and I find this one. 
Now, this one is a little bit more on the expensive side, but of course you can find leather jackets that are a little bit more affordable. But I do believe having a leather jacket in your closet is a real essential, as it is a very versatile piece. It gives a little bit of edge to an outfit. It can be worn up, but it can also be worn down. And I believe when you're buying a leather jacket, the safest type of jacket to buy is in the black one. And you can really look at the details. I really like a leather jacket that's a little bit more cropped, not like too long and baggy. I don't like that look on myself, but it's really, again, about finding your style and finding what suits you best. I don't have like a specific brand that I could point you towards. It's really finding your own style in that department, but really play with it. I think it's something that is very edgy and can add just a whole lot of personality to a wardrobe. So we cannot talk about the wardrobe essentials without mentioning the trench coat. Now for me, a trench coat is the iconic piece of stylish, timeless and just having to be in someone's wardrobe. So this one for me is actually one of my favorite. I love it because it has that warmer tone in the color. It leans more towards camel, which really goes well with all of my items in my closet, but also my skin tone. I also like the fact that the buttons and the couplings are much darker than the coat itself. I feel like it does give like that elevated chic effect, which if you may have noticed, that it is my personal style. And I also like the fact that this coat is slightly longer than maybe the regular coats, which make it super easy to wear with dresses, but also with trousers. It is super easy to combine. So you can wear a trench coat on a casual day with your sneakers, and just a pair of jeans and a t-shirt, but you can also wear it up, as I said, to go to work by combining it with a skirt or a dress or something like that and wearing it up to get that more elevated chic effect. In terms of brands that make wonderful trench coat, I would say there are various brands that make wonderful trench coats. You can go from the high end from Burberry that make maybe the most iconic trench coats, but you can also go with Massimo Dutti and Zara and something that is less expensive. However, I do feel to invest in beautiful pieces that are durable and that last a long time are the key to putting a trench coat in your closet. The last item that I want to talk about that is a very essential to a wardrobe is a good coat. And to me, it is a wool coat. And depending on the lifestyle or your preference, I do believe that having a lighter type of color coat is the most elegant, most beautiful one. I like this one. This one is from Burberry. It is in their most maybe iconic color, camel. And it does have, again, the more darker color buttons, which I absolutely love. I also had that on the trench coat. I feel like having this darker button just elevates the whole look. So this coat is actually a very fitted type of coat. Now I do have to be completely honest that I do have one also from Max Mara, which is a very loose type of camel coat, which is my absolute favorite coat, but it is at the dry cleaning right now. And I wear that coat much more than this one. But this coat can absolutely also be dressed down with a sneaker so you get that more casual feeling or even just with jeans. It goes with everything. But just for me, I wear it more to maybe more formal occasion or when I'm trying to reach that more of a corporate type of look. So this is one coat that I will definitely put more into workwear and the other one, but I will link maybe a picture. That is the one that I absolutely wear a lot. And this is the coat that gives me the more casual, relaxed feeling that overall I tend to go for. So guys, these were my wardrobe essentials that I wanted to share with you guys today. As you can see throughout the whole videos, the most of them are neutral and that is because I believe that having a strong basic to start off with is going to help you a lot with outfit picking and it's so easy to mix and match all the items that I've just shown you today. Now, let me know what your wardrobe essentials are down below or if I mentioned something that you would actually not consider as to be a wardrobe essential for you and the reason why. So if you happen to like this video, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps my channel to grow. And for now, I really want to thank you for sticking here until the end if you're seeing this. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!